Alright, so uh, after the big Minecraft update of 1.6, uh, a lot of things have changed when it comes to installing mods, and uh, therefore I decided I just wanted to make this video, uh, which I'm going to have on my mod page, uh, for installing the Emoticons mod. So uh, basically, uh, all, all you have to do uh, to begin with, you just go on the page and you just download the mod as usual. You could either click it right here or you could go down to the downloads page right here select any other version but 1.6 would be up here and uh, once you have to download you just do what you normally would do um, just let's just keep it on the side for now though uh, let's just start up the Minecraft launcher you probably already have started it up for the first time uh, but this is how it looks when you start it up for the first time because it deleted the files so basically you have your login right here you have your profiles up here and uh, you uh, the Minecraft update notes. You can read them if you want. Uh, they're not really that important um, <laughs> for the technical stuff. Uh, the, the development console could be kind of a, could be kind of useful if you uh, if you crash or something. It should diagnose. You should be able to diagnose it there or uh, see what is actually going on. Uh, otherwise, the local version editor and the profile editor are uh, are pretty much uh, the important things when it comes to modding. So. Um, uh, basically what you have to do now instead of uh, editing the minecraft.jar uh, you have to create a duplicate of minecraft.jar uh, basically and um, define it as a different profile so um, I'm going to show you how you do that but first of all let's just take a look at this uh, right now in the local version editor if you have opened this up and you waited for everything to log to download and you've logged in and everything uh, you should have downloaded 1.6.1 which is the current version uh, which uh, should be listed on this page then and on the profile editor it should have default so uh, let's just uh, go here on the side this is where you edit the profiles so I'm gonna go on edit profile and I'm gonna rename it and I'm gonna keep make two profiles now so basically this is going to be the default profile the the vanilla that is always going to be the latest version so I'm gonna call it latest vanilla just like that and that should be the name of the profile which will describe what this is this is going to be an unmodded version and it's going to be always the latest version basically you select that here on use version use latest version and if you select uh, release 161 it's going to be stuck at 161 uh, if you select use latest version it's going to update as soon as there is an available update and uh, one more thing that I'm going to do for this is just for personal preference I'm going to change the game directory to dot minecraft files uh, this is just to keep the custom uh, user data uh, separate from the game data uh, you don't need to do this but I prefer doing that so just if you don't know what this means then just ignore it anyways so um, anyways you can change some other settings here like default resolution but you don't really need to do anything of that so I'm gonna click save profile now and this is now called renamed to latest vanilla and uh, when you once you click play and log into this it's going to be the uh, most recent version uh, I'm also going to make a new profile um, which is going to be the modded version but before we do that we gotta go and make the uh, modded jar and everything so uh, let's go and uh, click Windows R and it should open up this little run window and uh, type in percent after the percent and you should be able to open the roaming folder which is right here now here you can see I have dot minecraft files this is basically just a folder with all the user data uh, if you don't have this folder then don't worry then it, if you just go into dot minecraft uh, you should have these folders if you don't have dot minecraft files all the files in that I had in dot minecraft should be located here as well it doesn't really matter uh, I just like to keep them separate uh, just so that uh, this has a lot fewer files but if you have more files in here then don't worry about that it should still work perfectly fine uh, basically what you need to do in here is you want to go to versions and uh, inside here you should have lists of all the folders of the versions that you have currently downloaded so uh, basically right now it says 1.6.1 if you were to open the launcher again uh, it now it says on the local version editor 1.6.1 right there because this is the only available version that we have stored locally so what you want to do here you want to right click it and copy and then paste a copy of it so basically you want to duplicate the folder and rename it so I'm gonna rename it to custom now this is kind of important that uh, you 
be careful what you re rename it. Don't rename it any spaces or special characters. Just rename it something very simple. Uh, you could use dashes or underscores, but uh, don't use spaces. Uh, otherwise, you also need to uh, just note what you named this folder so that you name all the next files the same. So once you go inside your custom folder, it should have two files. The .jar, which is basically the new Minecraft.jar, it's called 1.6.1.jar and a JSON file, which is basically a config file. So what you want to do to both of these, you want to rename it to the same as the folder you just renamed it. Custom.jar and custom.json. So now that you have these, they should be the same as the folder. Uh, you want to right-click your JSON and edit with Notepad++. You, sh you could probably use, uh, you could use Notepad, the default one, if you don't have Notepad++. Uh, but it looks a lot better and it's a little easier to keep track of if you use Notepad++. Plus 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 blah blah blah. So I prefer using that. Uh, basically, the only thing that you need to change in here is the very first uh, thing, which is ID 1.6.1. You want to change that to the same as you've changed here. So um, just change it to the same as the folder and the file and whatever thing. So custom. Just save that. And you don't need to change anything else in this whole file. Just Change that, click save and close. So now you have your custom.jar and uh, you want to do just what you normally did with uh, with your, uh, your previous versions of Minecraft. You want to install the mod in here. So I'm going to open it with WinRAR Archiver and this is how it looks. So, oh well, it looks awfully glitchy here. Um, anyway, so this is basically Minecraft.jar in the new version. And uh, first of all, as always, you want to delete meta-inf, so you want to right-click and delete files, click OK, and it should be gone. Uh, that is to prevent a crash that is often that often happens every time you mod. Uh, now you want to open up the zip file of the mod you downloaded, so for example, Emoticons mod. And uh, all you want to do here is just drag the files from there into your .jar file, and replace, press OK and you can just close it off again and as soon as you put those files in there uh, that should have installed the mod now uh, this it still hasn't it still won't work exactly um, because you still need to define and make a profile for this so now that we have 1.6.1 .1 and custom right next to each other in slash versions versions uh, if you were to I'm, I'm actually going to close the launcher and restart it because it needs to update. So uh, if you go to local version editor now, you should see custom and 161. And uh, it says on the sync status at the end, 1.6.1 is up to date with, it says remote. It should say remote if I expand it, maybe it says, yeah, up to date with remote. So basically that means that it's the same version on your computer as the version that Mojang has stored in the clouds. So uh, that means it's the same. But when it says local only, that means that it's not the same. And uh, basically since I have modded it, I have changed it so that it is not the same as the one they have in the clouds. And it should say local only, which is just means it's this version of the jar is only stored on your computer and nowhere else. Now, um, what do you want to do? Uh, go on Profile Editor. Uh, I prefer doing this. You could click New Profile here, but I prefer just going to uh, uh, Copy Profile instead so that I have my current settings. Uh, but it's basically the same thing. Uh, you can just make a new profile, and I'm going to call it Custom. It does. This one doesn't need to be the same name as the uh, folder, but I'm just going to keep it Custom anyways. And otherwise, uh, you want to use Version. You want to drop box, uh, drop <laughs> this down, and instead of using latest version, you want to use the release custom. And uh, this custom will be the name of the folder and the version files and everything. So if you select release custom, then that is basically going to mean that this profile is going to is going to launch the custom.jar. And uh, if you if you have uh, snapshots enabled, if you click enable snapshot right here. Uh, you should Your list should include a lot of other things like snapshots for, uh, you know what the snapshot is. If you don't, then, well, that's just uh, <laughs> beta builds or whatever in between updates. 
Anyways, if you copied a, um, a snapshot folder instead of a release folder, uh, it should be called snapshot custom instead of release custom. Um, there, there is an option in the uh, JSON file that you can change that, but uh, be be careful what you change in the JSON file because if you change anything in there that should not be changed, that basically makes the whole launcher kind of screw up. I I have experienced that, so I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna select release custom, and save the profile. And it's not logged in in either of them, so you're gonna have to do that. Uh, but it should be able to work. Uh, so yeah, as I said. If you were to, for example, go to versions custom dot JSON and edit with Notepad plus uh, plus, there is something called type here, which is release. So if this is either snapshot or release, uh, but if it's anything else than that, than those two, as far as I know, uh, then the whole launcher is going to screw up badly. So um, all right. So I also noticed a little something else that I probably should tell. Uh, if it says under latest vanilla uh, on this version, it says release custom, uh, which I believe it will if I restart the launcher. Um, let's see. It says release custom on custom. It says on latest vanilla, it also says release custom, which is the version. And basically, if you have latest vanilla set to use latest version, then it's basically going to find the uh, jar and the JSON file with the most recent tag or time tag basically so uh, if there are two with the same one it could find the wrong one um, so uh, if you if this is the case if it says release custom under latest vanilla you don't want that you just want that on the custom and you want uh, vanilla to be an actual vanilla uh, you go on your custom JSON and you edit with notepad plus plus again or notepad if you'd like and uh, under where it says time and released time uh, this is basically um, it, it's going to look for the, the, the what is inside here and the other one I'm not sure if it checks for both of them but I just check and edit both to be sure and uh, basically when it it's going to determine which is the most recent version it checks for this name time tag and uh, then it uh, launches that accordingly so that you just want to make sure that this uh, custom one is from before the most recent one so therefore, I'm just going to change the year to 2012 instead of 2013. So uh, in both of these, both there and there. So if you were to change both of those, then it's going to make sure that this version is definitely older than the most recent 1.6.1 version. And that is, so I'm going to save that and close it. And if I were to re restart the launcher again now, uh, it's going to just see now it says release 1.6.1 and that is what we want so uh, basically under custom if you select custom it's going to say version release custom which is what you want you want the custom profile to release uh, to uh, start up the custom jar but you want the latest vanilla profile to release the most recent vanilla game and uh, therefore you make sure that your custom jar has an older time tag than the latest vanilla or else it will confuse it probably might anyway so if you were to click play now uh, under latest vanilla it's going to start up the game as usual uh, this is the unmodded version so if you were to start up a world here and press T for chat you'll see it's just a normal chat and uh, this one does not have the mod installed and uh, gotta close that again so that is basically it, it it's starting the most recent uh, unedited unmodded jar if you were to select the custom profile, you want to play on that. If it says play offline, I believe if you just log out and log back in, it should be able to work because that ha that worked for me once. Let me just play offline to make sure that the mod itself works. So now we are launching the custom.jar. And as, soon, as long as you're launching the custom.jar, uh, if you look up here in the folder, it just generates a custom natives folder. This will be deleted when you close the game, but uh, it's just there once the jar is active. Anyways, if you were to press T on this jar, you're going to see here is the symbols button from the Emoticons mod. So you can click that, you can add whatever symbols you want to your chat. And uh, as well as colors for bucket servers and formats if you're permitted access to them. And um, yeah, so that is basically it for uh, the profiles and stuff. So um, I'm going to close the game now. And uh, if the folder custom natives uh, 
or is not deleted. It's not really important. I don't know, but it's, if it says custom can't delete, then it'll be be it'll be deleted when you close the launcher. Anyways, let me try to log out and log back in. Play, and there we go. Now it's playing online with the mod. I'm I'm not sure why it does that. It just kicks you offline. But now I have logged in successfully online. So uh, now both of them are online version logged into my profile and you can select custom vanilla or uh, latest vanilla or custom dot jar to change it's a lot easier to do it this way instead of having to make a duplicate of the micro dot jar and renaming them every time you want to change what mods you have um, and also there is no more any force update buttons so uh, uh, you can uh, if you actually I uh, believe if you select the uh, latest vanilla to always use the latest version and it cannot find the latest version it's going to regenerate it so therefore if you were to edit if you were to mod the 1.6.1 jar uh, that won't really work because every time you start up the launcher in the game it's going to regenerate that folder so that folder cannot be modded so you're gonna have to make your own custom duplicate of it and that is the same case with many other files in the new Minecraft. But uh, basically that is how you can now install the mod and it's kind of confusing I guess but uh, once you get used to it uh, it's going to be a lot <laughs> it's going to be quite handy. So um, yeah and that is basically it for this and I'm also going to make a Mac tutorial uh, which is going to follow now soon for those on Mac and uh, yeah. But that should be everything for Windows. And uh, yeah, I will see you later.